וקבלי. Another one from the same kind of series is differently done, of course. I mean, we, we, India is a very heavily populated place when all those people do do things, you know, it's, and it's therefore uh, one, one never needs to dry up as a painter as to say, the question never even arises now as to, what, you know, what shall I do next as it was. It's all there. Of course, you've got to make all this. This is the melon, watermelon season. And the people looking out from the, uh, there, and there's a dog underneath, and everybody's having a ball. And that's your musicians, the band dwellers. And here they are, again. It's a dhaba. I've done a number of paintings on the dhaba as well, you see. And uh, it's a combination of the dhaba and the musicians who come there to eat as well. They've got to eat, you know. <laughs> Doesn't that finish it? Finish? Okay. <laughs> Can we have the lights now? We extend a very thank, very big thank you for being with us today. It's, an, it's indeed an honor to be a part of your talk and also listening to your beautiful and wonderful stories that you narrated backstage. Now I request Dr. Ranjana Arya, who is a faculty of Jawaharlal Nehru University, to felicitate Sri Krishna Khanna ji. Yeah. questions or to talk about it at all because uh, uh, painting does uh, excite that <laughs> even if it's to throw stones at you. Uh, we have got some more oh. time so... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was in a bank, 
and the, the, my clerks very kindly had, had a little farewell party for me. And they were having this party inside. This was in Bombay. And <laughs> on the outside, in the doorway, was the Hussain, Bal Chavra, and Gaitonde. They, they were standing there saying, oh, nickel, nickel, you know. <laughs> so I, uh, I said, come, come, take it easy, boy. <laughs> this is a big step. Anyway, they have all sorts of wonderful um, things were being said about me by my clerks and so on. And then finally I read them goodbye and I went outside and then I was just physically got pulled off by Bal Chapra and said, he pulled off my necktie and he said, you won't need this ever again. You know? It's not entirely true, but by and large it's true. On the same night, uh, Raza was in Paris and quite unbeknown to any one of us, he had a dinner party then. I've still got the invitation with Raza to celebrate my entry into... Yeah, it was, uh, it was very touching, very touching. And there were so many instances with, between us which uh, I, mean, I could uh, spend the whole night sitting here talking about them. And I, I, I feel sad that most of them have gone. And they've just left Akbar Padamsi and me alone now. So that's, that's my situation in Akbar's. Yeah. But it's a, I, 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 you know, we never thought that painting would come to this kind of high, high resolution uh, and of importance as we, we just knew that we wanted to paint and I think that's all that's, that's of primary importance is that you should know, you should be compelled. Unless the compulsion is there, there's no point in trying to paint or do it, sing or anything, anything like that. I, and not that I'm deprecating other professions that are equally important. But uh, since I am a painter and I'm painting, uh, I would say, uh, as a piece of advice to my young friends, that unless you're bitten, and bitten badly, don't touch it. <laughs> Magic is there, but I'm not able to see it. Uh, so, uh, how, uh, like many people like me, may have this question: like, how can we develop the finer taste for it, or understand the big uh, painting in more detail? You know, that's a, that's, you you said a very important thing right now, because the so-called meaning of a painting is only of a fractional importance to the work. In fact, if it has made you think again and again and makes you stand up and say, ask this question, is very, is very important and is very provocative. The painting has provoked you into that kind of activity. And I think if, it's, if it does that, if it shakes you up, you may not understand the the meaning of it, in quotes. Someday what will happen is, when your internal situation is such, is comparable to what the painting is doing, or the poem is doing, or the music is doing, then the meaning, then the meaning will automatically drop. You will then understand, not the meaning, I mean the full importance of that work will, will drop. It's a, I, I'm, I'm tempted to recite a, 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 the end of a poem which bears on the subject. And it says, it's from W.B. Yeats. It says, uh, so 
always the beginning which is the difficult thing, you know. Um, he talks about dying. He says, uh, I shall never regain this bodily form again. But such a form as Grecian goldsmiths make of hammered gold and gold and amelin to keep a drowsy emperor awake or set upon a golden bow to sing to lords and ladies of Byzantium of what is past or passing to come. You know what he's saying and I never understood the full import of this till very recently. He's, he's not only narrating what what they actually did in Byzantium and the, the hammered gold and gold in Hamlin. But the thing is that he, the, the import of this painting, this line, this line is that he will personally disappear, physically disappear, but he will appear or his soul will appear. His essence will permeate many, many things forever and ever and ever. Any, any, anybody who is even vaguely sensitive to this kind of thing, they will understand, they, they will be in Yeats's shoes. You know? They will see the importance of all that. And it's indes indestructible. Like Orton says, you know, in another way, he says, you know, for poetry doesn't make anything happen. You know? It has a way of existing, existing you know, by word of mouth. You know? It just carries on and on and on. You can't kill it. I can't, I, can't, I can't give you a... a, 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 a. Hi, sir. such a lovely talk. Uh, I have got two questions. Uh, one is that, uh, have you ever faced such a mental or creative block where you are just not able to uh, translate what you are thinking into the canvas? And the second one is that, uh, have you ever felt that you could have done the painting even better than you have already done? Thank you. And the truth is that, saying that one doesn't approach a, a work uh, with preset ideas. There can be a number of ideas that float in and out and so on. And God knows how a, a, a work actually begins. I Honestly, I've been painting now for, for a long, long, long time now. And if you ask me, you know, how, how did it begin? I, I honestly can't answer that question because I can only tell you what happens. That happening is when I put a big canvas in front of me and so on and the paint is there and so on, it is really sitting down and letting that come to life of its own. It, it, it will it, it, it stirs up certain things, certain images, certain something that compel you to begin. And once you start it, then the, then the, 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 it, it could last two days, 15 days, or 15 years to, to, to finish that. It depends how complicated the whole thing becomes and, and, and does become. I know this doesn't make much sense, but I, I think greater work great work of art can never, its sense can never be, be reduced. Can be, you can't put a QED at the end of it, you know, it's, a, it's an ever going thing. Because all the whole time, whether the same is true in music and in poetry as well. I think, the, I think basically the underlayer of all this activity which is called civilization, 
is the poetic image, is the, is the, is the sense of poetry which people have. Because it's, it's true in it's true. But like writer's block. When well, you're not the able block to write. The painter's block and also that you don't know what, what to paint. The writer's block can be, you can, what do I write about? And I've said all that I had to say. And it's like for me to die maybe. But I mean, seriously, you, you look at a painting, so, and I must have painted you know, a thousand paintings by now. And I, I, I can promise you that every time I put a canvas in front of me, someone will say, ah, oh, band volume, watch out. It's not good enough. It doesn't have to be. If I don't really particularly feel it, when you paint band, when I've been painting band colors, it's not the same band color anyway, nor is there one attitude of the band color. It has to change. So each band color picture is a very different proposition. And these propositions, they don't just you know, smite one like that, they grow. And it, it starts growing the moment you start working. Because what happens is that when you when you put a line, then the line tells you what you want, how you want to respond to it. It might might give you five different ways of response. And then what do you choose? You know, it's a it's a very delicate operation, but a very positive operation. And I've learned after all these years of painting to listen to what the inner voice is. If I've done something and Never mind who says it's good, bad, whatever. If something rankles within me to say that there is me bath me bani, you know, then there's no point, no point saying, okay, I'll, I'll, you know, it's a tinker's job, ye kar do, wo kar do. like a schoolmaster might come and do it. It doesn't happen that way. What it means is uh, a heavy, uh, you know, brush or a cloth in your hand with a lot of turpentine on it and you just scrape them. You've got to have courage to be able to remove it absolutely and then think again. It's really sadhana, you know. I mean, I promise you, there's no other word. The daily painting becomes more and more and more. Uh, it, 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 it's, 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 it's paramountcy as a kind of, but it's, it's insistence on certain as strong as that. So what's your favorite painting and what's the story behind it? Well, firstly, I don't think there's any, any famous painting at all. I, I, I'm a painter and people are doctors and lawyers and so on. And so I don't think there's any famous business someday. Favorite? Oh, yeah. There is no favorite either. No, honestly, there is no favorite. I promise you, people ask this question, right now, which is your best painting? You know, how do I know which is my best painting? There is no best. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know when a failure happens. I know, listen, this is true. I know when a failure happens and what went wrong and where, you know? But, then to make, to convert that failure into excellence is a big trudge. But that excellence, when it is reached, it's the it's it's so blissful. I, I mean, really, at that stage, you could say, "Ab mamla khatam hi ho jaye. Iske baad aur nahi ho sakta." That's that. Honestly, this is the truth. You just feel like. Well, it's heaven, and you, you can't take, you know, I swear, you can't take the credit for it either. You can't say, I did it. It's, the, the, the art is one thing. I mean, I, honestly, it is the, the subsume, subsuming the, the ego. You are absolutely, you know, not play up to that, that, uh, that angle of work, or that kind of uh, attitude. There's no money. And there's no end to it either. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Since we are short on time, we will not be taking any more questions. And we are really sorry for that. <laughs>
You know, I would say that it's, yes, everybody, everybody should paint a bit or draw or whatever. I mean, it's a, it's a faculty which is in doubt in the fact that you're a human being. <laughs> But it doesn't mean that you want to pursue it for the rest of your life unless, you're, unless you are absolutely committed to it. And that commitment is something that also grows. Believe me, I mean, the, my commitment to painting at the age of 25 was one thing. My commitment to painting now is a far more uh, intense affair. So, but that, that, that commitment has to be there. That compulsion has to be and you've got to recognize that compulsion. And once that is recognized, then there's no coming back. Then you just pursue it. Thank you, sir. Thank you so, so much.